Let's get straight to the market action. The indices posting back-to-back -back down sessions and a late-day surge fizzled. Joining us now, Jack Caffrey, Equity Portfolio Manager at J.P. Morgan Private Bank, and Ben Emmons, New Edge Wealth Senior Portfolio Manager with us here on set. Guys, welcome. Uh, Jack, first to you, do NVIDIA and Snowflake, which we are waiting for, matter outside of the individual stocks themselves, especially NVIDIA, given it's a high multiple, big market cap stock. It's got an AI story. There's a lot of similarities with some names out there that have been moving. Uh, you know, I think very much so when we consider the very, the relatively narrow breadth that the market has had this year, with so much 75 to 80 percent, depending on the day, of the S&P return really being driven by six generally technology, secularish growth stocks. I do think there's some shifting under the curve, whether those really are secular stories anymore. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, NVIDIA plays very much to this theme around AI. Um, and whether that is a story which can continue for so many of the other, so much of the leadership. Um, you know, we would actually see a safer market one with a little bit more breadth. But right now, you know, certainly people are willing to bet on the horses continuing to lead. Okay, Ben, so what are you reading through to, if anything, out of these earnings, even if it's just sentiment, right, not specific industry? Yeah, I think the sentiment is driven by that AI hype, so to speak, and, you know, it's captured the markets, and it's relevant because if it's something about, like, a, a accelerated hype and keeps people sort of in the markets without really thinking it through, that's when you get these sudden sentiment turns, you know, if the debt ceiling, say, becomes worse, and it seems that it becoming a little bit of, of attention, but yeah, the whole, you know, let's say sparkling theme around AI just suddenly disappears. I think that's what you want to watch for. I mean, the theme really seems to be for the market right now, and yes, we finished the day lower, near the lows of the day, the S&P finishing down at 41.15, uh, with every sector but energy in the red, but it feels like mixed. Mixed is the headline, whether you're talking about the latest debt ceiling headlines, whether you're talking about earnings, whether you're talking about macro data, what's an investor to do here? That's not an easy one, then, Morgan, but I think that you want to at least stay invested, obviously. I don't think you should be completely out of it and put all your money into T-bills that are safe currently, because there's some are not, apparently. Um, and secondly, it, it, there's a lot of sub opportunity, though. I mean, there is opportunity in tech, there's opportunity in financials, for example, or even in defensive, because this is not an economy in recession. Right? It's an economy that's showing actually resilience, you know, and if you listen to the minutes today from the Fed, they have to continue to consider a hike really because the economy is not showing any real slowdown or recession just yet. So I say stay invested, stay involved, because it's not really a market to be really, really bearish about, in my view. Okay. Uh, ben, want to get your thoughts on this, especially when you had Toll Brothers, was one of those uh, companies that reported results after the bell last night, uh, really strong results. And we have seen this outperformance of home, build home builders in recent days, in recent weeks. What is that signaling about the cycle we're in in the economy right now? Uh, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm yeah. Jack, I'm sorry. No worries. Um, well, I do think, you know, when you take apart the strength in the home builders, it strikes me that you do see a bit of a macro bet being made by the builders, which is that, that they are buying off on the bar market's conviction that we are going to get to in lower interest rates sooner rather than later. Um, and I think at the same time, when you look at what has been working, it, whether it's the consumer staples names, whether it's that high growth technology space, those seemingly all work well when you come back to this idea that inflation will be cured sooner rather than later, but that the cure for inflation will not be the decline into a recession. I do think it's, it's sort of interesting because staples would seem to be late cycle, home builders early cycle. The two working together would seem to suggest that, you know, it's not a classic equity cycle unfolding, not a classic economic cycle. And maybe it's one that comes back to more rolling recessions where we think about the cost restructuring you've seen in so many technology companies. Mm -hmm. Can that actually take us? And that underpins where the Fed, I think, has its confusion. Okay. They're not getting the pushback that they're supposed to see. And so you have that battle well, to raise do, or not to raise.